Hello friends, I decided today that I wanted to build a graveyard. Um, that might sound, sound a little bit dark and mysterious, but um, <laughs> I've been playing a Generations Legacy Challenge, whatever you want to call it, on my Twitch channel, and we just had our first death, and I don't know where to put the gravestones, so my thought was, what if we just start now? make a graveyard and then that's where we can put all the graves so that we're not you know haunted by ghosts all the time i saw a video of little simsy she built a graveyard like i was gonna say a few months ago but it could honestly be longer ago i genuinely time isn't real but i don't know i wanted to build my own i was looking on pinterest for some ideas because i don't know what a graveyard looks like how do you make a graveyard look nice <laughs> I don't know, but I tried something. I hope you like it. Um, you can use it if you want. None of the gravestones in it are gonna be any of the ones from my sims anyway, so you can use it um, and replace the gravestones when your sims die. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to start an internship this week. Well, I was supposed to, I didn't just think so, um, but my internship got denied last week by my school, so I can't do it and I have to find another one, which I've not even found any I can apply to yet. Um, so that's not going so well. So I'm already behind. <laughs> it's Monday, this would have been my first day, um, but it's not. Instead, I'm home by myself. So that's great. Love that for me. But I would have posted a video last week on Friday, but I had such a stressful week that I actually completely forgot about it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, did not think about it whatsoever. So that's not ideal, but I've had a very stressful few weeks because, um, you know, everything. <laughs> but it's made me feel very stressed out and I've not been able to focus on anything. <laughs> so I'm very sorry. Um, I'm not very used to the YouTube stuff anymore because I didn't really post for like over a month. And I've not really gotten back into like that kind of thing. So it's a little bit hard, but I'm trying to work on it. I want to like record a video and then hopefully I can edit this fast because I will have the voiceover ready but um yeah I'll give you some more life updates um the apartment is very ready now we've moved everything in and we bought furniture with furniture I mean we bought a billy bookcase you know the one that I talked about last week in the video and I was like tomorrow we'll build it on stream it didn't come that day and then the next day it was delivered so we did a stream that day but so the stream is up on the um, my FOD's channel, by the way, if you want to watch it. If you want to watch me struggle, you can. <laughs> um, it was a very good time, but um, I, like, our post does not get delivered to our door, you know, because we live on the 18th floor. They don't really do that. This one was supposed to come to our door, though, and um, it didn't. <laughs> it was a bit rude. I'm not gonna lie, because we could not find this package. Um, we got like a message on like the track and trace that was like, your package has been delivered. And we were like, um, where is it then? No one rang our doorbell to like tell us to come down to get it. So we could not find it. We walked around the entire building, could not find a thing. We like, we called them. They obviously didn't pick up. Their customer service is really, really bad. Whoever does the like shipping of stuff from Ikea over here, absolutely terrible company do not recommend <laughs> they just like didn't show our order just didn't show up the day it was supposed to and they just didn't tell us about it and then the next day it just showed up and then it wasn't where it was supposed to be anyway it was there and after like 30 minutes to an hour of searching we were like just wandering around the building and we found our package on another side of a door we could not enter so i have no idea how the package got there in the first place like how did this man or woman i don't know how did this person come into the building and with our package and put it there when we can't even get into this building so we were very confused already <laughs> very very confusing um so we were stood there in front of the door so i make my girlfriend go to the front desk um and I wait where the package is so that like, I don't know, I can just like stand there and watch it just in case anyone wants to steal it. <laughs> Cause that's what we thought at first. We were like, someone must've like taken it, but 
Billy is like 43 pounds, okay? Billy's very heavy. It was hard to move. I could not have carried this any further than I already had to. <laughs> but um, I was stood by the door by myself. And then someone comes on the other side of the door. And it's one of those doors where you just kind of like it's a motion sensor. But only from one side. Because from the other side you need a key to get in. So we're stood on like they're stood on the motion sensor side and they're just looking at me like what do you want like why are you stood there and then they like wave at the door and like let me in i'm like oh thank you and then my girlfriend's still gone so i'm texting her like abort mission abort mission i'm inside don't worry (laughs) she's already at the front desk so it's too late they're already walking towards me um first they're at the wrong door so i just hear them on the other side of another door like an emergency exit door and I just hear them going like, hmm, if I open this door, then the alarm will go off. And I'm just stood there like, okay, guys, I'm here. And then they finally make it round to where I am. Um, and then the guy just looks at me and he's like, how is she over there? Like, I thought you couldn't get in. And I was like, oh yeah, they let me in. And he was like, okay, bye. Have fun with your package, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so um, that was fun. Really nice. We got our package, but like I said, 43 pounds, very heavy. And we had to like take it from one building to another building and then like, oh, terrible. I had to keep putting it down and picking it back up, but the picking it up was such a pain because it hurt so bad and like my arms were like jelly. I was shaking for like a few hours afterwards because it was so heavy. (laughs) Maybe a few hours is an exaggeration, but I was shaking a little bit afterwards. It was not good. then we put the bookshelf together. It was a great time. But that was not the most ideal experience. Um, and then on Saturday, we went to buy a TV. So for Christmas, we got money for like Christmas money. Um, and then we got money specifically to buy a TV. So we bought a TV. And then um, we also bought a Switch <laughs> and Animal Crossing. So that happened. Um, so I'm going to be streaming uh animal crossing soon once my capture card arrives which is like a thing if you don't know you can't stream from a switch um but if you have a capture card you can because you can like put it into your computer and then it like you can stream it from your computer basically so i'm very excited um i love animal crossing i've been playing the entire morning i'm not gonna lie my girlfriend left to go to uni and i've just been playing the whole day um to like collect stuff to build houses um for the like next three villagers that are moving in and oh my god this is so fun i love this game i'm very emotionally attached to everyone already we have ribbit which is like a robot frog and then we have agnes which is a little pig and i love her she's so cute and i'm obsessed with her um so i'm very excited let me know if you play animal crossing let me know who your favorite villagers are um i went to one of my friend's islands and it was so pretty and then she came to mine and there were just two tents and two little houses like mine and my girlfriend's house and i was like well i don't know what else to show you <laughs> but i really really like this game i'm having so much fun we also bought just dance because um i've been talking about just dance a little bit i'm obsessed with this game it's so fun um it's a really good workout for me because i am really demotivated to move like all the time that sounds so bad but like it is kind of bad so my stamina is terrible like i can walk upstairs and be so tired um so i've been playing just dance for like hours and it's so fun i love this game oh give it to me every day i love this i could play animal crossing and just dance all the time but that because i got a switch i've not been playing a lot of sims which is the next issue um because since I've not played a lot of Sims, I'm really behind on building. And I every time I stream the Sims, I'm like, um, I don't <laughs> I don't remember what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so that's fun. Love that for me. Um, so yeah, that's my life update a little bit. I'm having a great time playing loads of games. I like usually only play The Sims. Like I had like I go through phases of other games, but The Sims is like a constant for me and then it just kind of gets like placed in the background when other games take over my life for a few months. Um so I feel like that's what Animal Crossing is doing right now. It's just taking over my life a little bit, but I think that's fair cuz it's really cute and it's so I just I love it a lot. So 
I'm sorry if I'm talking about Animal Crossing a lot for now, <laughs> but I promise I will shut up about Animal Crossing in like a few weeks. <laughs> Anyway, because I haven't been playing a lot of Sims recently, I feel like I'm also really behind on Sims stuff. Like there's a new Sims pack coming out, the wedding one. First of all, I think the title of the Sims pack, My Wedding Stories, is possibly the worst thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm very sorry to the Sims team, but it sounds like a game that you'd play on like Girls Go Game when you're like nine years old. I don't know, it just, it does not sound like a Sims pack and that, that makes me feel a bit sad. <laughs> I don't know. I'm excited for it though, cause it looks like we're gonna get a new world and that really excites me. Um, so I'm happy about that. I'm really upset that it leaks though. I know there's a lot of people that love leaks, but personally I hate them. Definitely because they sent out wedding invites to the game changers. I saw some of them and they're so cute and I was like they definitely didn't mean for this to leak like this is not fair they like made up this really cute way to like announce the pack and then people like spoiled it a few days before oh, I was really sad about it when I saw that because I was like oh they probably had this like perfect idea because you know what they did with like cottage living where they send out postcards from like Hanford on Bagley they like sent out wedding invitations now and that would have been such a cute way to announce the pack. Like everyone already knew that we were gonna get a wedding pack, but still everything's already been spoiled basically. So I don't know. I am a little bit sad. I wish that people would stop leaking and spoiling things. It does make me feel a bit sad for like myself and the Sims team. <laughs> I just wanna be surprised. <laughs> And it's not as fun when it's a leak and you just get a picture and a theme and then you're like, okay, I still know nothing. Like, I want to know more now, but like, not like this. I don't know. I know some people love leaks. I'm not one of those people, but I'm really nosy. So, I don't know. I follow a lot of simmers on like Twitter and YouTube and everywhere. So I see all the leaks anyway, which is sad. Um, and like, people would talk about it, but I don't know. I wish that leaks weren't a thing. It makes me feel sad. <laughs> But let me know if there's anything you would want me to build, by the way, because I feel like I'm running out of build ideas, like a lot. Um, I feel like I can't think of anything that's like actually good and that people wanna see. So if there's anything that you really want to see, let me know if you want like some fancy pool or whatever. Um, I am working on like, well, I'm not working on it yet, but I will be making a shell challenge so that you can also do it. Um, I don't know when I'll do that yet, um, but there will be a shell challenge coming, I promise. And I'm very excited for it because I've never done one before and I have no idea how many people would actually care to do it, but I'm just, I just want to play. <laughs> I just want to play The Sims. And that is like a fun way to make it a little bit more collaborative. So that's fun. But let me know if you have any ideas. Um, I'm really behind on doing anything in The Sims. So I genuinely have not built anything in like a month, which is bad. The last thing I built was the thing I built for the video and that was like the first thing I built in multiple weeks probably. So I don't know, my brain is not in the Sims mode right now. <laughs> Should I build my Animal Crossing house? No, because it's literally a box and there's nothing in it. <laughs> I have no furniture. I started the game a few days ago. It's really sad on my little island, but I'm having a great time. <laughs> but yeah, that is my life. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I'm very excited about streaming right now. I've, my streaming schedule has been a mess, but I've been streaming with a face cam. So if you've gotten this far into the video and or like, like you're just interested in what I look like, I stream with a face cam now, so you can see that. Um, I might not stream with a face cam every stream just because I might not feel like it, but I am enjoying it a lot and I feel like it's more fun because it's more like, it feels more interactive. And I also talk with my hands a lot. I feel like um, when I get into the story a lot and you can't see that without my face cam and then I feel like I'm just like not doing anything. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm having a really good time streaming the way I'm streaming right now. It's so much more like chaotic, but I feel like it's so much more personal and like interactive and it feels less like my YouTube videos. I mean, my YouTube videos are also like chaos and story times, but it feels more like, I don't know. It feels more like me and less like Sims, which I guess for some people that would be good. For some people that wouldn't be good, but 
it's just like sims and then chaos and then talking to everyone else that's there and i'm just having the time of my life and i'm actually very excited about it um i always get nervous of like getting bored of streaming because i love streaming and i have like the best time of my life and i had such a long period of time where i really started to not like streaming anymore and it made me really nervous because i was like oh this is like the best thing that happened to me and now um, it's like not fun for me anymore so i'm really trying to make it fun by like playing different games and like doing different things on stream um and just making it more me so yeah i'm happy about it i'm making it the best i can and i'm having so much fun and i love that everyone's like friends like my discord is like the best place in the world everyone's best friends and we're all just talking about the most random stuff all day everyone's so supportive oh i love it so much everyone in my discord i love you the most <laughs> you're great thank you so much for being so nice to me thank you for hanging out hopefully i'll see you all on friday if not i'll see you all next week i will do my best to do some builds maybe if you want i can do a quick animal crossing video question mark um but let me know if you want to but i don't know when i'll even be able to show anything because currently there's nothing on my island like i have trees and i have two tiny houses that were tents literally yesterday so there is nothing to see no one has any furniture um i don't have any furniture nothing matches i only have money because yesterday my friend gave me money so that's the only reason my house is bigger than it was um anyway <laughs> that's my life i hope you're all having a good time and i'll see you all another time goodbye